cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you... of us, aren't you? That is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, let's get some treasure. Treasure! treasure! Much for treasure. This cupboard is bare. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Ah, my old friend the lever. These channels of lava are blocked by sticky pistons. If I were to unblock them, hmm. Hey, it's working! Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. What you need, buddy? Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough, or smart enough, or whatever enough, to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. So, what kind of loot you think we're gonna find in here? Oh man, well, I wanna make a room with an emerald floor, right? Yeah, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. again
by Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. So, how are you feeling lately? Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what we were getting into. Hilarious. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. and steel like that before. I'll be honest with you, Olivia. I have no idea what this is or what it does. Uh, I do. Uh, burning stuff, right? I mean, but it must do something besides that, right? You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? You ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, warrior whip, go! Come on, Jesse, make it good. Just... Took them out. And... 
Let's get you out of here. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Okay, what should I burn first? The grass! No, that stump. Whoa, whoa. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh. Who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched them. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the new Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. We don't have to fight. No? Oh, we can totally fight. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. You better back off, Aiden. Getting this was no cakewalk. Taking you down wouldn't be any trouble at all. Big talk. Gonna back that up? I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! You don't touch me! Some hero you are, Jesse. Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. We're bringing it home. It'll be safe there. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. Well, I guess we do always try and get all the best treasure. Yeah, but that just means we have great taste. Not that we're like bullies or something. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, yeah. New Order of the Stone is back in 
hometown. to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Talk about eyesores, that thing's hideous. Yeah, if beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, that's one beholder with serious eye problems. Not my fault! Look out! Oh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ivor, I like building as much as the next person, but there have to be rules. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <clears throat> it's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. I believe it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand, and you can make sure that when we bake it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Sounds good, I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Hey, Lucas! Great to see you! It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. We have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute, I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning I 
get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. Look, I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently, someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot, the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Aiden's a stupid bully. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, that's what I used to say, too. But he's been freaking me out lately. He got super aggressive. He demanded to know what treasure you were after next. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Wow, I didn't know there was a time before the Order of the Stone. It's incredible, isn't it? I haven't even gotten to the best part! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource! What a beautiful sight! Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment, but how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse. And that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh. Not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kind of has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. So, you think it's the right place then? Oh, yes, Jesse. Oh, yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, uh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny.
got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. Huh. Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. Excited, Ivor. Excited. I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. <laughs> once, sir. Uh, once we find it, that is. Well, that wasn't there last night. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So, you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. So they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Seems promising. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> it's some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. Dude, why are you being such a tool? Your little adventure is over, Jesse. Time to go home. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Weight for my height. Thank you very much. 
There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you. There is nothing but sky down there. It's all just empty sky. I've traveled all over our world, to nearly every corner. And there has always been land or water beneath me. You could just fall forever. And ever. And ever. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be. The Eversource. The city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Pushing. I'm pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building! I... you... I... I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh... You don't know? You... 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 you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense! Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh... Th this is making me terribly nervous, but, uh... First, those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Yes. Clearly, the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it... He won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel, and he's up to no good, but we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The blaze rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it. You can stop writing now. Intense.
Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, oh, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. Man, that sounds like a tough way to live life. I suppose. It's the way it's always been, though. Founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes, yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. I heard you talk to the Blaze Rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze Rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any Blaze Rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, is this our guy? He tell you where to find the Blaze Rods? How many of you are there? I told you I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? You sure keep saying I don't know anything a lot. Don't lie to me, Milo. That's how bad things happen. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder! I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, you've got to be kidding what me. Are you? Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, was that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. Uh, no, what? Why would you even ask that? Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, 
But I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. To get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Hey, don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> the builders! Ha! Do you see it my way? Hey! Hands off the rose. Guards, bring them forward. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you. I promise. Let go of me, this head says. Excuse me, excuse me. Come with me. We meet at last. <laughs> listen, I don't know what that guy's told you, but you can't listen to him. Oh, Jesse, I'm hurt. Wounded. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. service to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? That my card she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Ivor's right. That must be the way to the Eversource. Ha! Nailed it. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Blaze rods. You're going down, Aiden. I'm gonna stop you. Not this time, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. Are you kidding? She does not sound friendly. Yeah, I've heard about this little law of yours, and I gotta tell you, it's really stupid. Huh? Good one, Jesse. Hmm, I knew you were a criminal, but I didn't know you were also so naive. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Founder... Ma'am, that's actually not what the Order of the Stone does. Yes, we collect treasure, but we help save the whole world. We're not tyrants or thieves. Aiden's got that all wrong. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. What are you getting at here? As you can see, nothing exists below us, only the void. Resources, every kind, are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. 
It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. Well, yeah, but you've got the Eversource, right? Can't you just use that to make more materials? It is not that simple. <sighs> people act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. Wait, what do you mean by limited? I heard the Eversource could make unlimited precious materials. If only it were so simple. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. See, to me, that just sounds like a big, fat excuse. I think you're just hoarding all the power for yourself. You would know a little something about hoarding power, wouldn't you? I think I've heard quite enough. Uh. Ow! I now see that Aiden was right, and that you're nothing more than a common thief here to take the Eversource and destroy our community. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I sentence you and your companions to be imprisoned <clears throat> indefinitely. What? Reginald, remove these criminals from my sight. Yes, ma'am. What? <sighs> This is a big mistake. You'll regret this. I doubt that. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. Now it's supposed to fail.